guys well met to my channel recollection and you know my name is mr team <laughs> okay guys today i'm in my university as usual because i don't have other place to like make a video and today i just decided to come and make video specially for you guys and today's topics about grammar as usual and i'll try to understand some rules of grammar just try to watch and tries to try to find some uh, mistakes and correct me guys today's topic about grammar as usual and you know today i want to talk about will and going to uh, don't be surprised that we talked about these topics but anyway i want to talk about this and i want to uh, make clear i mean i want to just uh, uh, explain to you what the differences between them okay uh, i want to give you some examples about this just listen okay helen has flat tire of her bicycle and uh, she said to uh, her father uh, okay can you repair my bicycle for me and uh, her father said okay i'll try uh, i'll try to repair it tomorrow and you know <clears throat> we use will uh, in this situation because you know uh, her father didn't know about uh, her uh, flat tire of bicycle and that's why we will use we use will when we talk about some situation where we decide to do something at the time of speaking we didn't know about that thing and we decided to do something suddenly immediately and uh, let's talk about going to okay uh, Helen's mother uh, said to uh, her husband okay can you repair Helen's bicycle she has a flat tire of her bicycle and you know uh, her father answered okay I know about this she said to me about this situation and I'm going to repair it for her tomorrow okay we use it going to because you know uh, her father knew about this and he has already decided to repair the bicycle for her uh, I mean he decided and it was in the past I mean he decided to do this and he intended to do this uh, and now we use it going to because uh, we are talking about plans we are talking about uh, that situation where people have already decided or intended to do something and also i want to mention one really interesting uh, example just listen okay for example you are preparing something i mean you are you are cooking maybe yeah and uh, suddenly you just uh, find out that you there is no any salt and you said to, to your uh, friend okay we don't have any salt and your uh, your uh, friend answered okay I'll go and get it from the shop you know you didn't know about this I mean you didn't know that there is no any salt and uh, also your friend didn't know about this and uh, you, you I mean uh, he just decided uh, at the time of speaking and uh, he said that he used will and when your your friend uh, were going to the shopping uh, he met your neighbor and uh, he said uh, I'm going to shopping I mean I'm going to shop can I uh, can I bring something for you in this situation uh, he has already decided to go shop or, or market and uh, then that's why he used going to because he know about that situation that there is no any salt I mean he already decided to do this action that's why he used going to the second explanation about will and going to okay we use will and going to when we want to predict well what will happen in the future and we can use will and going to but there is a difference between them okay listen I want to just mention some examples about will and going to 
uh, what do you think uh, Tom get a job Tom Tom will get a job uh, you know uh, we just use it will in order to know about uh, some people's opinion and we just ask it what will be in the future but when we talk about going to just listen it is almost four o'clock uh, we are going to be late we use it going to we mention it that it is almost four I mean there is some signs and uh, you are sure that uh, you are going to be late because you know that it is late and okay you know uh, let's uh, talk about going to because some people uh, sometimes cannot use uh, this I mean going to that's why I want to just explain this a little bit okay we use going to uh, when uh, some situation show us uh, what will be in the future uh, I mean there is some situation and which show us what will be in the future and we can uh, feel sure about the future okay uh, just listen for example uh, I said to my friend look at those black clothes it is going to rain uh, you know that when uh, the there the re the rat black clothes uh, it is going to be rain it is evident it is tact and uh, you can just you have to use this uh, and also you can say uh, I'm I'm feeling terrible I'm going to be sick because you you are feeling yourself terrible and this sign that you are becoming ill and you you can say that uh, uh, I'm going to be sick and you know we use will uh, when we just uh, want to predict I mean we are not really sure about this situation I mean for example you just uh, want to mention about your opinion or your idea about something for example you can say uh, it will pro it will probably uh, really really interesting movie maybe it's like, uh, how can I say, it's your prediction. You are not sure about this. You didn't know, uh, you don't know what will be in the future, but uh, you said your opinion about this. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, the difference between them is when you is going to, you know, you feel sure what will be in the future. But when you use will, you are not really sure that you uh, you can just mention about this you can just share your idea or say something about this situation okay we have done guys and today we talked about uh, will and going to and guys be active as usual I want to say this be active in speaking and try to use all of these rules you know I just want to share with you one joke it's like a Uzbek joke uh, I think all of you know about that movie yes you know and uh, you know uh, one day that Tabib just asked from the Mashrabake you know why why ca cannot you speak and Mashrabake answered because I learned grammar maybe it's not really really amusing but anyway guys this means that when you trying to learn grammar you have to use your, you know, you know it's not just scramming and knowing about grammar you have to use you know when you know about grammar that you cannot use cannot speak this means it's not really really valuable for you that's why guys don't lose your skills don't lose your uh, uh, how can I say knowledge just speak just use those rules okay even with the uh, mistakes uh, like me you know try to speak with mistakes and then one day you will be greater I mean greatest in the world <laughs> okay thank you and I'm sorry for mistakes thank you guys see you